Yo guys, so it's me, Ja, negative to positive. Um, and I thought I'd make a podcast. I've just been down on the street today, yeah, which is like the block, we call it the street, like where we grew up and where we chill and where a lot of madness went down, yeah. I've been on there today to do a podcast with a guy, and I'm not going to mention his name. I think I've already mentioned his name when I've uploaded it. Anyway, let's just keep it moving. But anyway, so I'm on, I'm on the street. I'm doing a podcast, I've done a podcast with a few of the boys, I'm having a chit chat with a few of the boys, yeah, um, try to spread some wisdom in it, because you know a lot of people don't believe I've changed, but trust me man, I've changed, you get me, people have rung me with graphs and I've not gone on them, and stuff. I've already mentioned it anyway, but anyway, so I've done the podcast and there's two guys there, a guy that I've just been speaking to, and was absolutely normal, and was absolutely normal like five minutes previous, He's going to an argument with his friend of 20 years. Friend of 20 years, yeah? Over some, over some, over some, I don't know where it was. Yeah? I think drugs, yeah? And they've been arguing, arguing. He's going to go on then. He's put, one of us pulled a knife out. He's going to go on and stab me. So my man just gone, boom! And whatever happened, happened in it. But, you know, the boom! You know, use your imagination, yeah? And I was just in shock. I thought, Ross, has that just happened? Like for me, I'm a vi- I was a violent guy, and for me to see someone stabbed, yeah, right. I'm not saying the guy who did the podcast with him that I just did the pod- podcast with stabbed him, but that guy got stabbed like fast, yeah. I heard a boo when the knife hit him, yeah, and I was like, wow, he just stabbed him, and I was shocked because I was thinking, right, this is like, this is like, this is like, this is what I'm talking about on this podcast. This is it. So my man has been his friend for 20 years and over a little bit of book, this guy just explained that for 15 years he was on the roads, he was doing bare badness, he wanted to be like all these big bad shotters, yeah? He ended up doing 15 years in jail, he did cut ears, yeah? And he said, you know what he said at the end of that interview? He said, yeah, if I worked for 15 years, I would have everything I want. He said, but because I chose that wrong path of committing crime. Look, I'm not on about drug dealers that do shots here and there, move a bit, bits and bats. I'm not about you lot. And what about people that are grafters and your robbers and your burglars and you're out every night with a ballet on committing crime? I'm talking to you people right now. Active motherfucker members, shooting, stabbings, all of that. Active members. I'm not talking to these people that do little bits and bats and, and think they're fucking big timers. Good on you. You know what I mean? Whatever you're doing, good on you. But I'm talking to you active people because look, this guy was active. Regardless if he's on a smoke track now or not, that dude, that's irrelevant. The guy was active. The guy was on job. The guy had to commit bare done bare stuff and he's certified as well and from what i've just seen he's definitely certified yeah and he said in jail he was stabbing people but like i said at the end of that interview do you know what he said he said if i'd have worked for 15 years yeah i'd um have everything i want now and if i were legit he goes i wish i could have done that he wishes it could have been legit do you understand now what i want to get into you kids now i'm talking to you kids now yeah is i'm gonna up some mass for you yeah so you work for a drug dealer, yeah? You work for a drug dealer, yeah? This drug dealer's moving boxes, yeah? Right, but he gets a four and a half. He's probably got fucking a grand in it. The amount of work he's moving. He's got a grand in it, yeah? He offers you a hundred pound a day to work for him. One hundred pound a day, yeah? That's 700 pound a week, yeah? I'm gonna do the maths on a four and a half and I, and I used to sell, I used to do this myself. I used to get a four and a half, I used to bag it up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the maths on it and I, I can't remember if it's correct, yeah? But I remember it's about 125, 126 gram, yeah? You divide that by 0.2, it comes to 600 and something. You times 600 and something by 20, it comes to something like over 12 grand, yeah? Right? When I used to do that, so each 0.2 is 20 pound. When I was on the road, each point, I know it's like 10 pound a shot and blah, blah, blah. But when I was on the road, it wasn't like 20 pound, 0.2, 20 quid, 2 for 30. So the mass came to about 10 grand profit off at four and a half. Not all profit, but, you know, majority of it profit. You're getting 100 pound a week, which is 2,800 pound a month out of that, yeah? Never mind the bits and big pieces that the guy's doing. You'll get £100 a day, yeah? Now, he trusts you to break all this work that bag it up into shots. You're doing all the hard work. You're doing all the graft, yeah? You're the runner, yeah? But you're getting trekked like a king. There's some extra money. There's some clothes. You want to come to a nightclub. He'll work tonight. You come chill with us. I'll show you around these girls and this and that. You feel like you haven't done. But here, wear my chain. You know what I mean? Actually, yeah, wear my watch. Here, bro, drive that car there. Don't worry about it. Worry about it, man. That's all bullshit. That's all a fucking persona. It's all bullshit. It's fake as fuck, yeah? All they care about is you moving their drugs, right? And you're taking all the risks. You're taking all the risks. So you're going to go to jail. You're going to get caught by the police. You're going to get your house raided. And worst case, your boss is a grass and he grasses you up and you do the time for your boss, yeah? 
Sometimes, not all the time, but that's what goes on in Bradford most definitely, yeah? But forget that for a minute, yeah? Nah, so you're getting £100 a week, £100 a day, £200 uh, a month. Out of that £2,800, you're probably spending most of your wage because you're flattening it, chilling, you're on graph, you're buying food, you're buying burgers, you're buying bird stuff, you've got a bird, you're spending money on it. You probably save £500 a month, if that, probably nothing. Probably just skin. You're just not skin, but you're just spending, 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 spending. Because you're on the roads and you're active and you're busy, you've got, you're just out all day, you've got no to finger, you're just grafting, grafting, spending, chilling. You might even say taking drugs, getting in a bit of debt, whatever, yeah? Now let's work the maths. If you live a legit life, and Ray's inspired me to talk about this. If you live a legit life and you've got to work in a factory, let's say you can only get a shit job because you're like me, you're dyslexic. You can't yeah, fucking alive, read, right? write and all that bullshit. Yeah, it's fucking long, yeah? So you get a job in a factory where you're just picking shit up. You can earn up to £700 in a factory. I've worked in M&S before myself until someone tried to burn my house down and I stopped working because I had to protect my family. But, yeah, if... You did that and you do a bit of overtime, you could come out about six, seven hundred pounds a week, yeah? With overtime and all that shit, yeah? So, do the maths, yeah? You've got no headache, you're not on the roads, you're not living that life, you've got legit money coming in your bank that you can prove and account for. You're not going to get arrested by the police, your door's not going to come off, your family are going to be proud of you, not going to be disappointed in you when you're locked up in prison for somebody else, remember? I'm talking a younger generation now, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, them sort of age when you're runners. I know some guys come on and start your own graft and they get busy, you know, whatever. I'm on about people that have kids that have no one and they, they're chosen to be the runners for that specific reason, yeah? And if you live that legit life and you're earning what, let's say you're earning 20, even three grand a month, whatever, and you've got a few little side hustles, you can actually, without cut all that headache out, you don't have to be around nobbeds, you don't have to be around bad people, you don't have to worry about people like on your patch and, and impressing people. You can just do your thing by yourself, go to work, go home, play PlayStation. I don't know what kids be doing these days. Even go and take girls on dates. All legitly, all legit and nice in your bank. You're not risking that prison, because once you go to prison, like Ray said, what happens? You went to prison at a young age, like I did. You meet people, you come out and it escalates. Yeah, so now you're thinking, right, you told me how to fucking burgle, you start burgling. He taught me how to rob a, how I can do a ram raid. So he start ram raiding. He taught me how to blow up a cash machine. So he start blowing up cash machines. He taught me how to pull cash machines out. So he start, you know, it escalates, you know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? Before, you know, you've got a few guns put down. You know what I mean? But then you're going down a, 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 a path, look at him, he ain't been 15 years in prison. Going to Cate jails, on Cate wings. I think I got Franklin and stabbed people. It was his life or his life or, or that guy's life. So obviously I had to do what he had to do. Do you want to live that life? Do you know, I've lived that life. Honestly, I've lived that life. Like I said, in Glen Parva, I had to come out and put work in because it was me or them. I was on my ones. I would never been in that jail. It was their jail. I had to come out and put work in. I've been in situations where I've had to come out and put work in. And people know I put work in. That's why they come for me. They come with fucking 100 cars. Not 100 cars, 100 lads. Or they send six lads to a gym to run in and get me. Because they know if they come one, one of them, it's going to be a challenge. Whether they beat me or not, it's going to be a challenge. But that's the life you live. That's the life I chose at that time. That's the life I lived. You get me? That's the life I chose. That's the life I lived. But now, I'm, I'm on that different path and I'm trying to guide you lot on it. But look what he just said. Watch that last podcast. Ray, 15 years prison cat here. It's on TikTok. It's on my YouTube. Just listen to what he says. I know it's a bit quick. But listen to the words because the wise words from a wise guy, regardless if he smokes crack or not, he's a wise man, bro. And, and the way he... The way he put it then, just like everything I've been chatting about, the five minutes later, a guy got stabbed. A guy got stabbed, best friend for 20 years. Now, because of the drugs, because of all that life they've lived, the only thing that kills them demons is crack. So they blaze crack now. I'm not saying any, any, anybody's going up on crack out here, but that's what it came to. From living that, yeah, I've got money, I'm robbing, I'm chilling, I'm doing this, I'm stabbing, I'm shooting. Crack. And no disrespect to anyone that smokes crap, but it's not where you want to be. Do you get me? And that's what that life leads down. And like he said, go to work. Live that. I know I'm repeating myself because I need to get in your head. Go to work. And you're nice, man. You're blessed, man. Just go to work and you're just chilling in it. Do you get me? You fucking... Like, I go to work now myself. I get up every morning, I go to work. It's not a job I want to do for the rest of my life. It's not something that I want to be doing forever. It's not my thing. But I'll get up and I'll go to work until some else, some other doors open, the avenues that I want to go down open. 
But listen to that interview, man. I, I just can't believe what saw. I saw a guy get stabbed in front of my face. 20 years of friendship. Man just juked him up, man, over drugs. But it's, it's like a, it's like that cycle, what I'm telling you about, how it ends. That were like, that were like the end of the cycle. When I tell you, yeah, it's all right being young, doing it, and you think you're gonna go in jail, come out of jail, go in jail, come out of jail, sell drugs, be a bad man. Listen, I see my friends and I, and I give them advice. They might not believe me because they might think, oh, he's doing it for this, he's doing it for that. My brothers, I don't care if I get one view, two views, three views, 10 views, yeah? I'm telling my story to, sp to spread a positive message. And one thing, one reason more, more why I watch my mate, yeah? I can call him, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of cool with me now. I seen him sell, tell a story, yeah, hits. And it was about his friend and they got, we were met in jail and they got cancer. I'm not going to go into that. But yeah, it happened to me. My friend Warren, who I grew up with in Weatherby, H and Y Y Weatherby, yeah. I grew up with him um, in young young offenders. And anyway, and I did mask a few of the jails with me. Warren from Halifax, and this is the God's only truth. I was on Searing, and I never knew he was, he had cancer. He's told me, he goes, I got cancer, man. I go, what's up with you, bro? They, he didn't find out for till the last minute. You know, it's not prisons like this. Healthcare is slow, and I'm gonna do a podcast on that as well. Healthcare is slow, and he had lumps in his neck here, yeah. They're bringing in bare eggs and stuff, you know what I mean? They're selling his eggs off and stuff like that. I'm saying, bro, man, you need to get better. Man, I was telling him that he was still smoking spice. I'm saying, bro, he's like, I'm going to die, bro. I'm going to die, bro. I used to chat to him every day, man, and, and, and try and, like, you know, bro, you need to start getting healthy, you know, because I'm one of them guys, man. I've got a heart, me. That's what anyone says about me. I've got a big heart, mate, and, I, and, and, and even if you've wronged me, I'll still help you. You get me? Because I have got a heart, and my fucking the living room is going you know what i mean like way. certain people know man if they wrong me and and, and I, I would help them you know what i'm saying because i'm that type of guy but look i would try to like advise him as for that long story short yeah i've come out of prison in it um warren's i got invited to the funeral and i was meant to go i don't know i think i might have been on a bender though god forgive me you know what i mean I, I told you my past life was a fuck it was hectic i missed out on a lot of good things due to partying for days yeah but I remember I got a message off my mate Jade and she said, Warren said he'll see you on the other side. Warren said he'll see you on the other side and, and Jade knows that, Jade told me that. And look, that's deep, man, like, he died of cancer, he was in prison, he was doing a sentence, he got, I think he got out on passionate grounds, but he died. I know what that makes me realise, and I don't want to get into death and morbid, morbidness, yeah, but it's, it's a real thing and it's coming for everyone and that's why I try to put my message out there. I'm not trying to put this stuff out there for, oh, like I want to be famous or something. It's not to do with that, do you understand? And I have to get into that because I hope people don't think I'm doing this. I don't care if I get one view, two views, three views. If I can give a positive message, yeah, and maybe it's turn one, like one, one young man, his mindset different. Even if my stories of what I'm talking about, maybe relationship issues, mental health issues, if someone can relate and me make them feel better, that's like me giving back, yeah. And then on that day, Whatever happens when you go, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I can account for some sort of goodness to get me. And that's that's one of the main reasons I do it, man, just to give back, like, use my negative experience in a positive way. You know, like Bugsy Malone said, yeah, turn your pain into drive, understand? And that's all I'm doing. A lot of people might not believe it. Some people probably do believe me, but I tell you now, it's not like me to turn down certain things that I turn down and stuff like that. I'm not saying I'm perfect, you know, I like to be out there, but that's not trouble causing, man. I swear down, man, unless someone lands on my chin, I am gonna hit you, mate. I'm gonna fight, if you stood there talking shit, you're gonna talk shit about me. Talk shit about me, man. Say what you want about me, man. Do what you need to do, and whatever makes you feel better, if it makes you sleep at night talking about me, do it, because I might be getting more praise. Do you know what I'm saying? But like I'm saying, legit life and finger. Do your thing in it. And I'm talking to young kids, Welsh you have got the chance to do good. You've like still got that chance, so just do it. Cause look at that, friends of twenty years, they've done all that badness, life, stab, stabbing, robbing, all that bullshit. You know, like he said, I went in families' houses and took this and done this and whatever he was saying. And now look, he's a crackhead. That's his karma sort of thing. He's a crackhead stabbing his mate of twenty years because of the circle that I keep telling you a lot about. If you don't break free, man, that's where it goes. But that was just a quick podcast because of what I seen, what I just saw, and it was fucking. Normally I'd be like, yeah, go on, stab him. Because I'm this different guy, like, fuck, it hit me, man. Yellow ceiling. I'm chatting that. shit, I need to be real with you a lot. I was like, wow, I was shocked, you know what I mean? Me and my mate, we split them up and we kept them apart so they couldn't stab no more. 
But I was in shock myself. It was fucking crazy, man. But yeah, fucking, yeah, man, madness. But just jar, negative to positive. Stay tuned, got plenty more coming.